Joe McDonald was the hero of the night, hitting that buzzer beater in the overtime to put the Colonials over Dayton 65 to 64. It is fitting that McDonald hit the final shot because he was the team leader all night. McDonald led the game with 19 points, including four in overtime. Two other Colonials joined him with at least 10 points. Kevin Larson had 11 of his own, and Patricio Greeno had 13 for GW. It was an even match for most of the game. The two teams near the top of the A-10 battled it out for the entire game, with neither squad leading by more than 8 points. Statistically, both teams looked nearly identical. The one factor that put GW over the top was second chance points, with GW with 12 and Dayton only with 3. Both teams also saw little production off the bench. The Colonials had 7 points from theirs, which was led by 5 from Yuta Watanabe. This win bumps GW's record up to 17-6 and 7-3 and and in the Atlantic 10. The Colonials' next game will be on the road at Duquesne on Wednesday. For the Hatchet, I'm Zach Montalero.